Hello guys and welcome back to Title Domination. This is our uh, part three and we are now midway into the second season. Um I'm gonna go a new format with this, I'm just gonna show you all of the uh, like obviously mid season I'm gonna show you the transfers from January, then I'm gonna show you how I'm doing in the league, in the cups, and then at the end I'm gonna show you some game like show you the matches that I thought that we had the best performances in and the good result was there. So uh, we'll start now, we'll go straight into the transfers. As you can see, some people out, Alex Song's out, that's a new one, uh, an Arteta, that's, that's all really, from uh, like from before, but I got um, Mark Andre Ter Stegen for a ridiculous amount of money, and to be honest with you, he isn't worth it right now. He hasn't been bringing performances, if I just put uh, Szczesny, I can't say his name, I think it's Szczesny, I put um, Szczesny back in because Stegen just is not performing at the moment, and he's letting easy goals in and I need to start picking up points if I want to um, push towards getting some more cups so that's really it, really really quiet transfer window, I mean I did say at the start that I was quite happy with it I mean last update I did say I was happy for my team and Fierro, Abdener added to that team more and hopefully in time when Stegen's evolved to the game then um, like to the English style he'll add more to the squad but yeah that's it for transfers, as you can see you wasted a lot of money so yeah and as you can see there, this news update, drop my mouse. Um, that is, I, was, I didn't even know, to be honest, I didn't notice at first, but 22 games unbeaten is really good. I mean, it's nothing like Arsenal achieved when they did the season unbeaten, but we got close to a season unbeaten, 22 games. It's um, decent, but yeah, that was just, it was a poor performance that game. I mean, we didn't even look like we had any chance of winning it throughout. I mean, they got the two goals ahead and we just scored lucky, so. It was unfortunate, but it was just a nice thing. So obviously the team is getting better and is working more as a unit. So that was good. Yeah, next we'll go to the Premier Division. As you can see, Tottenham are first. We've got a game in hand over the middle. And we're two points ahead, so, we could, so hopefully we can get up there. But it's looking looking positive. It's the 1st of February. Um, I'm hoping in the next few months we can just, we'll can start getting the performances week in, week out. And just start hammering teams away and getting the points that we need. Uh, We've had some. Today, I'm surprised we are second. I mean, we have had some really iffy results, and it was nice to just see basically that um, the team is there. I mean, <laughs> we, we we do. I I admit we still do throw away a lot of points that we probably shouldn't have. I mean, eight draws, most of them were just like the times we should have won. The losses, obviously Tottenham, we didn't turn up, and I think another one was Man City. I think it was, but so they are quite good teams, but it's just. It wasn't it wasn't there to lose. I mean, all we had to do was perform a bit better, and it would have would have been better. It would have um, like got us up there. I mean, at this point in the season, we need to start getting the points. Any point we can get. I mean, if we're against the say if we're against the Fulham, we need to be hammering them and getting the three points safe. So you know, it's just unfortunate that we are second now. But I think we'll quite we should be able to do it. I mean, if Stegen starts performing well, because everyone have you only played like I think he's played twice. And both games have been horrible. That take him off, but hopefully he'll get he'll blend in, and our team will start performing as I'm not okay with. Love. So next we have the Euro Cup, as you see, Panathinaikos, who I think that's an that's an easy through to be honest with you. I mean, they aren't exactly the best team to be playing us, uh, so we should hopefully be hammering them. Uh, as you can see, Liverpool are also in there. It's Kaiser Slot and um, Man United are also in there. Dynamo Kiev. Um, that's it for English teams in that cup really. That's us three in it. Um Paris Saint Germain obviously big spenders are there. That was quite surprising to be honest with you. I mean I thought they'd be in the Champions League easily. But there's a lot of teams here, I mean United, Juventus I thought it'd be in there. Ansi might have been there really. Benfica, Fenerbahce, so you know. I think it's gonna be a really tough year. I mean we this this round should be safe, but I'm looking forward to um the team we get in the next few rounds. So yeah, that, that is the Euro Cup. I think it's, it's, it's really winnable. I mean, we can beat Man United and Liverpool comfortably. Then the teams, I think we are probably one of the better teams in this, com this competition. So um, I'm just looking forward to um, the challenge of playing the people. And here is the FA Cup, which we did. We are holders of at the moment. Barnsley, fifth round. I think this is a safe win again. I mean, we do hammer the teams in the cups. So facing League One opposition isn't exactly a challenge for us. We have, I mean, in all fairness, we've actually used to ride to the fifth round, but yeah, 
hopefully this will just be another hammering and then that's it. I mean, um, that question mark there is Man United because they play Fulham in a second round, a uh, fourth round, sorry, replay. So it'll be interesting to see if Fulham can get the surprise win. I mean, it has happened a lot in this game where big club's been knocked out, so we can always hope. But yep, yeah, now we'll move on to the League Cup and we're back, we're back in the final against Sunderland. Um, this game will be tricky. I mean, Sunderland have been performing well this season and we have struggled to get points. So be interesting to see if the team can get that cup form that we are famous for and just smash them off the park and get a win so yeah hopefully we can get that and that will be the second league cup we win so we'll take that for what it's worth I mean I know it's an moment I might win one of each trophy but you know it's always good to get a few of them so that was the league cup there and I'm going to tell you the game this is the game by the way this is the new section where I show you a game that I think we played the best at there is two this this month. Well, this update, sorry, because there wasn't really a lot of games we played. I would I would say were stand out apart from these two. And as you can see, it's in the uh, Euro Cup group, and it's in the Malmo FF at home. But five nil against a team in a Euro Cup. I mean, Euro Cup is there. I mean, you don't just easily walk into the Euro Cup. You have to earn it. So for these to come to uh, the Emirates and get hammered by us is amazing. I mean, Van Persie. He hasn't. He didn't start this game. He doesn't really start many of them. But I, I kind of put on as like an impact player. I mean, two goals in 90 minutes. Is, is two goals in the 90th minute. Sorry, two goals in 90 minutes sounds horrible. But two goals in the 90th minute should make, really makes him makes him I mean to. I really wanted to start him, but when he can just do stuff like this and he's done it, it's not his first game. He's done it. He's done it a lot of games. Then I kind of feel inclined to just and I'll leave him off. Because I mean, I do have the players to. I have Manzukic. I have Oxley Chamberlain, I have Fierro who can just I mean they they they're they're good as a unit, so I just want to slot him in as an impact player. But yeah, that's five nil. I mean that goes to the top of the, the 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 cup. So I'm happy with that. And now we'll move on to the next game, which is the FA Cup third round replay. And I did say it was difficult in the FA Cup. But yeah, against Wigan away six one. <laughs> um Van Percy wasn't even playing this game, so this is a really comfortable win for that. I mean, as you can see, we did struggle to start off with. Um, Theo walk on the 17th and they scored, so it was 1-1, one, one, I was kind of a bit, a bit nervous. And then I didn't really think that would happen, but it, we just started just dominating them, playing off the park. Um, Fierro there with two, Mario Mandzukic with one. Milner pops up in the most unlikeliest places. Um, like, I don't expect him to score, and then he just, he just pulls one out of the bag. And it's really nice to see a guy that last season I bought, hoping he'd add some at the team. But he, he did add some at the team, but he wasn't exactly an influential player. I would have thought. So it was nice to just like it's nice for him to just score every now and then, just to basically remind me he's there and that he is one of my players. So that's it really for that that game. So they had the two standout performances, and that's really it for this update. I mean, as you can see, we're still in the league. We're still in the FA Cup, still in the League Cup, still in the Euro Cup, we've ridden everything. So that is just really good. I mean what if what if we do the treble? It'd be amazing. Well it's not really the treble. It's one of the quadruple but two of them don't really count to that so you know. I wanna win three trophies again. I mean it'd be brilliant if we win three trophies. And maybe even the league this time, it'd be really good. But um he's my my thing. Reputation national. I've won a lot more games. Then I've drawn a lost, so that's good. Um, 20 transfer acumen, I don't know how I got that as I spent 89 million pounds on players. But yeah, that's basically it for now. The guys, um, I really want to see more comments on the thing because I want to know if you guys are enjoying it and if you want to see me take another direction how we do my updates. So comment below what you think and uh, what you think, what you basically what you guys want to see. I mean, there is a s people watching this and General Trigo is one that always comments and he's he's a good guy for watching the videos but um, I want to know what some more people think and how you'd prefer to see an update done I mean there's a lot a lot of different ways of doing this but obviously I need to know what appeals to you more so yeah that's it for now guys um, thanks for watching, uh, stay safe and hopefully I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>